How's it going, you guys? We are headed to the back of the property. We're gonna build a window box today. We're actually gonna build two window boxes. This is my prototype, my test window boxes for the shed right here. So um, I have a rough idea of what I'm gonna be doing, but um, we're gonna take the trim off down below and I'm gonna mount a window box directly to it. And what I am gonna do too is, um, I picked up these window boxes. These were like six bucks. Um, they had like the plain ugly black plastic ones and they were, um, they were like $13 or something like that, $12. Uh, these were on clearance. So I grabbed two of these. That's the only reason that I grabbed the decorative ones. Otherwise I would have totally grabbed the black ones. These were six bucks. And then I grabbed some wood and I grabbed some decorative trim right here. And my plan is to, um, kind of build a window box and then have this be the insert so I don't ruin the wood. We'll see, we're, we're making it up as we go. So I have all my tools, I have my chop saw, I have hammer, I have tape measure, drill, air nailer, screws, level, angle thingy, <laughs> I got it all. So we're gonna just, um, pretend like we know what we're doing and we're gonna pretend to build some window boxes today. Okay, so we've quickly taken off the bottom trim piece. The plan is to butt it right up against the bottom of the window. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna measure and I'm gonna take it to the edge of the window. I'm not gonna go past it. So it's right at 32 inches. So I'm going to cut one of our big boards down to 32 inches. That'll be the back. And then um, I'm gonna measure it these guys and then I'm gonna measure these guys to see the depth that I need this at and then I'm gonna measure one more piece to go to the front of it actually I'm gonna cut two of these guys at 32 inches so that way it's uh it's the same size <laughs> okay so we've made all of our cuts now and I have some drill bits here I have some gorilla glue we have our insert and let me show you guys how this is gonna work. So we have this back piece, this is gonna get screwed to the shed. Then we have our very front piece right here. And we have our two side pieces. So we measured how wide we wanted it, which is a little bit wider than this actual box is. And it's a little tiny bit deeper than the box is also. So what we'll go in and do is this is gonna just sit right in here like this. We're gonna go in with a couple of our scrap pieces of wood and we're going to line the inside about an inch and a half down with some wood and that's what this is gonna rest on. So this will sit on a little piece of wood and that way this is nice and flat so you don't see this over the edge like that. I didn't want that to happen. So you'll see absolutely nothing. This will be lined just like this and you won't even be able to see the insert at all. So I think what we're gonna end up starting with is building the back of it. So our first step that we're gonna do is we're going to put these side walls on the back piece. This is the part that's gonna go on the shed. These are gonna go here. We're going to pre-drill some holes into this and into our side walls really quickly. So went ahead, measured with our side rail right here to go onto there and then that way I know exactly where to pre-drill. We're gonna go kind of the center of this. Top and bottom. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of the Gorilla Glue. We're gonna run a bead of glue up the side there. put these guys, sandwich them together. And then we're gonna just go in with two staples really quickly. Now we're just gonna repeat the same thing for this side over here. Next step is to just put our screws in all the way. So 
So we went ahead and we nailed a ledge here. The window box here is much larger than this actually is, and that's okay. That's kind of what I was going for. This sits almost level with this now. And what we'll do is we'll center this in the box and we're gonna go in with a different piece of trim and that'll sit right up against it like that. And then obviously it'll be centered and same thing. It'll be just a little ledge on the top. So next step now, is I need to get the front piece on and put a ledge on this front piece also. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we measured our gap evenly. We had a little over three inches on both sides. So what I'm doing now is I've got this little ledge that we built and the bucket, the planter, will rest right up against it. I'm gonna use the nail gun and just nail it in, especially because it's not gonna be holding anything, so I'm not too worried about it needing like a screw or anything in it. Okay, and I'm just gonna repeat the same thing on this side now. Okay, let's see how it fits. Perfect! So let's get to the trim. I've got some pretty basic trim that I'm gonna do on this, but that's what's gonna hide all of our screws and hide these like side pieces right here. So it's just gonna kinda like bring it all together. Look at that. That looks so good. Screw those little clamps that Brent brought over that I asked for that I didn't use. <laughs> okay, so this looks so good the way it is. You could just leave it just like this. Um, would have been better had I found a larger insert. The train's coming, we're gonna move on. But next thing I'm gonna do is add one more piece of molding. I think it elevates it just a little bit more. So we're gonna add this. The only problem is on this, you have to do 45 degree angle cuts. And I'm not good at that. So Brent's gonna do this. And we all know how much Brent loves to be on camera. So he's gonna do it really quick off camera and I'll attach them. Okay, so we went ahead, we cut 45 degree angles on these. You don't have to do this. I'm just a little extra. So that way it, you know, I think it looks a little bit more fancy that way. <laughs> so we're gonna attach these now. Perfect. Last piece. Okay, one is done. This took us longer than I would like to admit. I'm gonna blame it mostly on filming <laughs> and the fact we have no clue what we're doing. The second one will be a lot easier. So now that we've got one of them done, we're gonna go ahead and paint it. I'm sure you guys have already guessed the color we're going with. Green. We're going with, it's called Herb Cornucopia. It's what we just did. 
the raised beds in and I think it'll be nice to try and see if I like the window boxes in this color, especially back here on the shed. I would like to start incorporating this color throughout the garden. So like, I would like to build a tutor and um, or an obelisk and have it be painted this color and maybe the other window boxes this color just so it feels cohesive around the garden. So let's go in and paint it. Okay, so this is it pretty much done. I'm gonna put the insert in. I shouldn't really be doing this while it's wet. Okay, look at that. That is so pretty. It needs one more coat of paint. See, you can see it's still a little like splotchy, um, but I love this. I think that's so pretty. It's got like the detail. We've got trim work, exactly the same trim work inside our house. It's all framed out. I love it. I'm not going to plant it up until probably like, honestly, like December, end of November. And I'm going to do Christmas. I'm going to do probably like a lemon cypress and then like some little, uh, probably some like white cyclamen underneath. I think that that would be really, really pretty. And so this one is going to go right here and it should fit right to the trim on both sides, maybe a little tiny bit bigger, but I cannot wait. That's going to look so incredibly nice and then we did paint the back of it just because this doesn't have gutters and so when water pours off it pours like right here and my fear was that like maybe some of it would get behind and i just didn't want it it to like rot or anything like that so we painted the back just for like a protective coating but i really really am so happy and pleased with how this looks one more coat and it's going to be perfect so i have some stuff i gotta go take care of inside the house um doing i'm doing some cooking and a few other things and um brent is going to build the other one really quick for this window right here and um i think he's going to try to get a second coat of paint on this i think tonight we're going to at least get this one mounted so you guys can see it and then um if we don't finish both of them tonight that's not that big of a deal he'll just build the other one while i'm at work tomorrow so this is so exciting so i'll see you guys in just a second when this one right here is mounted to the shed. Okay, we got the very first one up. It's towards the end of the day. You can see lights are on, but it is so perfect. We still have slight little, you know, touch up bits of paint to do. And if I wanted to be a crazy person, I could go in and caulk and fill all the holes, but it's a, it's a window basket for my shed. So I don't think I'm gonna be that crazy about it. I do need to come in though and touch up the white where the trim around the window was. So we'll go in and we'll touch that up on that side. And I think also on this side. Yep, so we'll go in and touch those up. But I just love that. And I cannot wait to get the other one in here. That right there is like so picturesque, especially with, I could see, you know, two little lemon cypress in there, some cyclamen and some ivy hanging down. Oh my gosh, I am falling in love with the shed again. It looks so good. So we ran out of trim though for this one. We, um, <laughs> this is all that we have left. And we still have to do the side pieces right here on both sides and the bottom. So tomorrow Brent's gonna go and pick up another one of these and um, he will pick up more of this top, the like molding that we did on the edge because we're a little bit short on that also. So he'll go pick those up tomorrow while I'm at work and he's gonna finish building this one. It probably took him like 20 minutes to build. So it takes a lot longer when I'm out here filming and having to explain everything, but super easy. It looks so good. I will show you guys tomorrow when both of them are up. It's gonna look so nice. Okay, and then so we do have water irrigation running right down there. These pots are tucked into irrigation. And because this window basket is in the inside, if I could get it out. Okay, well, I can't get it out. There we go. 
I think. <laughs> there we go. Jeez Louise. There's no bottom to it. So what we'll be able to do is run our irrigation up this. I'll go into one of the cracks and we'll paint the tubing white. I'm not going to buy white tubing just for like a few little window baskets. So we have black. We'll run it up and then we'll run it up into this. I got to drill this hole out and then this will have irrigation. But it's basically just a hollow box with this thing that pops into it so this should last forever and as these things break or whatever this is a super cheap replacement instead of having to um, replace an entire window box made out of wood so love this okay you guys look at there's west boy we got both of these done they look so good hung up i cannot wait to plant these up i have a great idea for christmas really is like so sweet especially like seeing some of the rows start to grow over and it just looks amazing i love it this one is still just a little tiny bit like tacky but um it's almost dry and so brent also ran drip tubing up it and then he ran it down back there and he ended up painting it white but he got you know the touch-up done on the sides that it needed there and then painted it the same color as the shed so you can't even see where the um, drip tubing is it's it's perfect so that is gonna be it for this video you guys they look so good Brent got that one done this morning and you guys we did that one yesterday I love the window boxes and now I cannot wait to recreate them for the house so we'll do one on the kitchen window one on our bedroom window and one on the laundry room and then one on the window in the front of the house. It looks so good. So that is gonna be it for this video, you guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.